She does not Drives me around the bend, I've got to be honest. <laughs> 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 uh, no, well, welcome, welcome to Graphics TV. My name's Ben Mosby, uh, and welcome to Masterclass. Uh, just, no, Kay's just said that is a, uh, that's that, sorry, she says, yes, there's that bouncy music again. It makes me smile. Uh, let's have a good day crafting today, everyone. I love our music. Um, Masterclass, not one of my faves, not one of my faves. The best one, the best one at the minute is Monthly Makes, uh, which you'll hear again, 28th of February. It is unbelievable. It's so good. Um, so make sure, if for no other reason than that, you tune in um, on the final day of the month. But welcome to this show. Uh, welcome to Masterclass. Uh, it's me, it's the lovely Leanne, and we're here for the next couple of hours, uh, bringing you Masterclass on all things Spectrum Noir, basically, this week we have been doing our Love to Craft event where we have been bringing you um, different experts each day, different kind of crafts and products each day. Um, our guys have basically had the opportunity to choose what they wanted to bring to you um, and then kind of bring you great deals within that particular product or range or style of crafting. Um, and also, of course, bring you loads of hints, tips and explanation as well. Today, all about the Spectre Noir goodies. We've got so much on this show, so what I would um, tell you to do is make sure you hit the Shop the Show button or indeed the Shop the Day button and you can see all of the deals that we've got lined up. Lots of love to craft deals. Now those are the yellow stickered items that you're going to be looking out for where you get a initial discount, so say maybe 10, 20, 30% off, which is amazing, but then you get a further 15% discount before you get your Club Inspired discount as well. So if you're a Platinum member particularly, you you have got some insane deals today. So whether you're maybe stocking up on Spectrum Noir goodies today, whether you are perhaps branching out a little bit as far as your coloring is concerned, or whether you're just getting started, hopefully there's a deal for you. And over the course of this show, ask those questions. Anything that you wanted to know, you have got the opportunity over the next two hours to ask a question. Uh, the best of the best is in um, right now. Um, so get those questions in. Um, it can be like a beginner's question, that's fine. It can be something you're a bit confused about. It can be something a little bit more technical, whatever it is, ask the question, whether you're watching on Facebook or indeed on YouTube, and we'll make it nice and interactive. Lots of fun and ho uh, hopefully throw lots of tips your way as well. Just before I say an official hello to Leanne, I also must just remind you on the website, we have got our last chance section and today with it being Friday, it's Fiverr Friday. Whoop, 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 whoop. We don't do it every Friday, um, just the occasional Friday, but today is a day where you can find loads of five pound, five dollar deals on the website. Nice if you haven't got a huge budget just to grab some really uh, great deals, but also if you are doing a bit of a big shop, uh, if you're in the US particularly, and maybe you're a little bit short of that free shipping, um, some deals in there to get you over that threshold. But um, let's say hello to the lovely Leanne. And then we're gonna try and make it nice and interactive today. And I, and I guess I know you've got some demos and techniques lined up, but you're happy to field questions and go where everyone wants you to go, right? Absolutely. I'm always happy to do that, Ben. I love to answer your questions. I love it when you um, present me with your conundrums and when you need advice on how to use things. So please, whatever it is you need, feel free to make the most of me while I'm here and use and abuse. Why not? Yeah, absolutely right. Come on, let's do it. Um, already in on the socials, we've got Rachel with us uh, once again. Uh, and Tammy is in saying, good morning, beautiful people. I cannot wait to learn something new. Um, Alicia says, good morning and greetings from Arkansas. Uh, happy Friday, everyone. I say like that for Alicia because that's how she writes it out for me. I know it's Arkansas. I keep getting messages going, you keep saying it wrong. I'm doing it on purpose because when you... Oh, never mind. Uh, Tara says, good morning. Sarah Brown says, hello again, my friends. Leanne, Ben and all the gang. Yes, I'm officially in the future. <laughs> it's now 1 a.m. Saturday morning. Just, just call me Marty McFly, Leanne. Oh, I love that movie. Sarah, we're going back to the future. <laughs> Great Scott. Um, Do you know, um, I'm just coming back to tell you a story. Uh, somebody, in, somebody in the trade business of craft, Mm -hmm. who, I'm just going to name and shame, Phil Greaves, um, once told me that I looked like the mad doctor of Back to the Future. <laughs> he said I looked like Doc. You know. That's a true story, Ben. That is I not... never let him forget it. I have to say, whenever we go out, it's great, because I don't have to buy a drink, because I make him feel very guilty about that fact. Cause... But yes, can you imagine? I mean, what, what, you don't. Let me just qualify Thank that. This is what I'm about to say what I'm going to say, but it's the, it's the 
It's the hair, isn't it? It's the hair, Ben. It's yeah. the hair. But you look and I mean, like... before I started to embrace the curl, it wasn't quite as curly, so it was mm. a bit more dark, let's be honest. Mm. And I did used to embrace the bleach blonde a little bit back in the day. So oh. I can I can understand why he said that, but I still think it was rude. Wow. Phil Phil Greaves, was it? Phil Greaves. Named and shamed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The guys in the gallery, we've got Johnny and George in the gallery today, they're going, not cool, Phil. <laughs> not cool, mate. That's not cool. That's not cool. Uh, Gareth Thompson is in. He's cool. Gareth from the uh, Isle of Wight and Polly Co from Brownstown, Florida. Hi to Sweet Imp, who says, I all from around the globe. Morning from Chesterfield. Hey, up me duck. Uh, Kathleen is in. The Spy Rights. Up the Spy Rights. My dad's a Spy Right. Um, they're on a bit of a losing run at the moment, aren't they, Chesterfield? Yeah, lost three on the bounce. Oh, and I've been hearing about it. Let me tell you, it rings me up all the time. Oh, Spy Rights, I've lost again. Um, <laughs> he does. Uh, Kathleen White says, hello everyone from, ah, uh, you've written this out for me as well so I don't get it wrong, Percasi, Percasi, Pennsylvania. Um, hi to Terry Anderson from Ohio, saving this class to my library folder known as Leanne and the AOC. Um, Leanne also has her very own folder in my YouTube library. Nice. Everyone should have a Leanne folder, absolutely. Um, Kerry says, Shop Spectrum Noir embossing folders and the fabulous fibres have placed two orders. Uh, and Laurel says, Leanne, we all love your hair. We do love her hair. We, we, we love Leanne, full stop. Um, and Sa oh, Sarah, Sarah Kay is with us saying, had to pop by for this show. Hi, Sarah. Lovely to have you with us. Um, lovely to have you all here. And already I can see the questions coming through. This is what we want. I'll tell you what we'll do. Keep the questions coming in. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of a, uh, a question section and we'll do a few of those as we head through the show. Anything you want to ask, some good questions already coming through. And don't be afraid if you think, oh, someone's probably asked it before. They potentially could have, but do you know what? It doesn't matter. New viewers every day, different people watching all the time. So ask the question. If you've got a question to ask, just ask it, for goodness sake. That's what we're here to do. Right, let's talk about the grab bags that we've got on the shows today. We've been doing them all this week as part of our Love to Craft event. The two grab bags that I've got to bring you today are the best that we've done this week. I'm putting it out there. Uh, this grab bag is uh, 43.45 or 61.95, but not today, friends, because you're saving 18.45 or 26.95. Then you're getting your discount as far as Club Inspire is concerned. If you're platinum, look at this price. And when the first item I bring out of this grab bag is one of our amazing discovery kits, you can understand why these are being grabbed. You are snapping these up. This one is the um, manga and comic uh, discovery kit. You get loads in these. Uh, this one contains an art liner. You've got a couple of our um, dual ended uh, classiques in there with that, um, the sort of smaller nib and then the chisel nib. You've got some of our illustrators in here too. And then all of the, uh, the cards and the tuition that you'll need as well included. These are brilliant to get started. Brilliant for little gift ideas as well. Maybe for the, uh, the kids or the grandkids. Uh, but that is a beautiful item to get started with alongside um, some of our twin tip metallic markers you're getting the precious metals in there all of those six colors um, you're going to receive alongside some of our acrylic paint markers this is the essential the essentials the essentials oh yes it's the essential shit which money penny um, where you're going to get the gold uh, the silver the black and that amazing white plus we're going to give you one of our illustrators and you're going to get a bottle of our glossy highlights all of that for 20 pounds or 28 dollars is incredible, incroyable, as they say um, in France. Um, snap these up whilst we've got them. We don't have never ending stocks of these, so make sure if you like the look of it, grab it. Great way of stocking up, great way of trying some different Spectrum Noir products, uh, and also um, a great way for you to potentially get some gift ideas for friends and family as well. Right, aqua pens. We, yes, aqua pens. You're going to get 48 here. Um, an, I've just seen the price. An unbelievable price. This bundle normally would set you back £91.96, $131. But today, these are one of the love to craft deals. So we give you 20% off. We then give you a further 15% off. We then give you your Club Inspired discount on top of that. And if you're platinum, you're paying just over £50 for all of these. Uh, 7178 if you are shopping in the US and you're platinum um, and you're going to get um, all of these beautiful colors. I'll show you the essentials. 
And this kind of just demonstrates, really, by the way, these are dual ended as well. You've got a brush nib one end, you've got your precision nib the other end, and obviously perfect for doing all of your uh, watercolor techniques in which we'll explore with Leanne. But these are the colors that you're going to get. And look at this, you know, showing you like the different gradations of colors that you got within each pen. But then once you think about these as being watercolor, think about all the colors that you've got that you can then mix with other colors to create you know, more than the 48 colors that you've got within this collection. So you've got the essentials range. You've then got your beautiful florals in here too. And again, just giving you a bit of an idea. It's crazy, isn't it really? It says 48 pens, but it's not 48 colors because think of all of the different grades of color from adding water and then mixing them up to create other colours. I mean... So you've got infinite shade and infinite tone. You have, haven't you? In all of those packs. Yeah. Yes, absolutely you have. Incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so florals. Then you have got your uh, nature in here as well. Um, once again, look at the different colours you're getting there. Sunset, amber, chestnut, through your, um, your greens, into your beautiful blues as well. And then you're also going to receive your primaries. Um, obviously, super duper useful. Um, you've got your reds in there, yellows, your blues. Look at all the beautiful colours that you've got within that set. And whether you kind of are maybe more of an alcohol uh, colorer and you're thinking about now moving into watercolor or maybe you've never even started, these are brilliant. And I always say this, because I always have this in my mind, um, when it comes to your, your aqua pens, I kind of feel like there's more techniques that you can do with them and perhaps they're a little bit more forgiving for a beginner. 100%, if you've never done any coloring mm. and you want to start your journey, always start with aqua marker. Yeah. 100%. I will always say that to you every time because it's for exactly for what Ben said, doesn't matter what you do, it's going to look good because you want it to look painterly um, and they are certainly more forgiving and actually that's been a little bit of a journey that everybody who's been on an Academy of Colour, a lot of people who've been on Academy of Colour have said mm. that they were terrified of watercolour in the past and just went with the alcohol because they thought it would be eat less messy, no water, oh, it'll be easier mm. and then through doing that programme we've took them on the journey and now they're saying completely converted i'm loving watercolor i'm yeah. enjoying it so much more it's absolutely fantastic it's so easy the results i'm getting are amazing why was i ever scared why did i not just dive <laughs> in and i think that's the thing with watercolor ben it is so incredibly easy to use because you get a bit of color you whack it on your card you're moving it around and it's done yeah and that's basically what you're going to see me do today <laughs> so basically leanne's going to get a bit of card and whack a bit of color on move it around and, and then, we'll, it. then we'll be done by yeah. uh, by four o'clock really it's going to yeah. be quite simple quite basic mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I love that. But no, this is the point. This is the point. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be difficult. Nope. Uh, and what you're going to see over the course um, of this show, not just with the aqua um, pens, but all of the different things we're going to show you, hopefully going to you know, break down any myths, show you that things can be nice and easy and that these um, pens are for everybody. You don't have to be uh, next level to get some awesome results with these. Thank you for all the comments coming through and thank you for all of the questions. We will uh, pose some questions shortly, but shall we get on um, and dive into these aqua pens? So, Leanne, for anybody perhaps who's not seen these before, let's have a little, little look around them, shall we? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to have a look at a couple of different techniques mm. as we go through the next two hours, but I thought let's have a look at something which is really quite accessible to anybody and makes the aqua markers very easy to use but you're going to get some beautiful beautiful results so um this is the kind of result you're going to be able to achieve wow um and in another colorway beautiful same same stamp different mm. colorway and we're going to have a look at another colorway again because i want to, I want you to see how the same technique the same stamp you can get some very very different looks and get mm. a whole set and that's just using your aqua markers now what you're going to start with is your pigment ink have we got a good deal on them or am i just using we have because i like them across all of our um ink pads oh, we'll have a little bit later stamping. on oh it's coming up in fact on the bottom of your screen so i'm going to use plum jam yep. for this one i've got it's a really good size stamp this and if you wonder what this is this is called flowers and buds this stamp okay um i don't know whether that's just from the website or whether we've got it i'm not sure um i just know i like it right so there we go <laughs> i've got flowers and buds on there i'm mounting that onto my rocker block i think this one's been around in my stash for quite a while actually what's it called flowers uh, and buds flowers and buds I'll have a look for it um, and then I'm using my pigment ink and I'm doing lots of light tapping to get a nice coverage. I'm going to put that over the white card so you can see a nice coverage of that ink all over the image. Um, and I love to do this stamping. I'm going to heat emboss this with a clear embossing powder. Okay. 
And I love to do this technique with using the coloured pigment ink with clear powder and then um, your aqua markers. And we're going to do the wet into wet technique. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do wet into dry as well. We're going to have a look at both. So you can see, and they're the two main techniques that you'll use with aqua markers, wet into wet, wet into dry. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will allow you to see the different results that you'll get. So I'm just going to ink this up. And when I'm happy that I've got a really nice, even coverage, then I can stamp that down. Another top tip from me right now is always work on an oversized piece of card. Right. By working on an oversized piece of card, if you don't get it quite angled correctly, you can always trim it down that later. That is a great tip. So just stamp that down. There we go. Oh, that's pretty perfect. And then we're going to take our clear embossing powder. Uh huh. And we're going to heat emboss this. Okay. Now, pigment inks, Ben, are fantastic for using with your aqua markers for this kind of technique. Yes. They really are. I'm just going to put this back in the pot. And maybe it's not that little bit there. It can go there. There we go. Missed a tiny bit there. Because they resist the, the water. Okay. They resist the ink. So if you're after an ink pad to use with your uh, with your aqua markers, yeah. I would always recommend pigment. Yes. Because you can get that fabulous um, glossy look. And you'll see as we start to emboss. This is it. Here's another tip. If you've never heat embossed before, don't do this. You're not drying your hair. No. Keep your keep it still. Uh huh. When you see it start to go, there we go. Can you see oh, it going yes, there? When you see oh, it start yeah. to yes, go, move the gun Brilliant. and chase it. Yeah. Because when you do that, then you get a lovely, even, glossy effect to your heat embossed image. So just keep it still, follow it round. As it turns, move it to the next area, chase it round, and you'll get a much more effective result yeah are we selling our heat guns yet ben uh, yeah, we yes we are they've been on um we've still got them in stock haven't we yeah so that's what you're using right now isn't it yes because um actually what what you in the past what you wouldn't have been what i wouldn't have been able to do is talk to you no, while i was doing this to hear what you were saying oh, exactly but this is really and this is on the fastest hottest speed i've oh, yes, put it on it's here dual speed isn't it it's dual speed and so with that now i'm able to still talk to you so it isn't like a jet plane firing up in the <laughs> living room or when you're doing your heat embossing because it has been like that in the past it has yes okay so that's nice and glossy now with my pigment ink Maybe okay one side. we'll come back to that in a second and you'll see i've got that lovely glossy yeah. look on yeah. there Okay, so we're going to do a couple of different things. We're going to do wet into wet and wet into dry. Okay. So to do that, you're going to take your paintbrush. All right. And the first thing you're going to do is paint the image with water. And right. that's wet into wet. So what you're doing is you're going into wet cardstock with a wet ink. And just work on one small area at a time. So we go in with the water, and those of you who have done Academy of Colour, you will have seen this already. You'll know what I'm doing. And I'm going to go with my rose pink. So I'm going to put some on my mat. And I'm going to go with scarlet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go with a little bit of burgundy. And a bit of blossom. Okay. Okay, so they're the colours I've gone with from the collection. And then where I've wet my card, there, the heat embossing acts as a reservoir. I can pick up my colour and put it straight in. Oh, yes. And it starts to move. So yep. it blends really easily when you're going with a wet ink into a piece of uh, into the wet cardstock mm -hmm. so you don't get any um, sharp or harsh edges you can see there if you've gone a little bit far with the color because it's wet into wet and you want a little bit of a highlight you can take it out yeah. with your tissue um, and you can build up the different colors that you want to when you're happy with it and you wanted to stop moving get your heat gun out again or if you want to layer up and intensify the color yeah you can get your heat gun out just take a little bit of that moisture away and with your paint, 
You can then go back in and intensify that where you would like it intensified. Incredible. Clean your brush. Yeah. Constantly clean your brush because what you what if you don't, what happens is you get the same colour all over. I see. To soften the edges and get the blend, you need to always have a clean brush at hand to do that. Yeah. Clean your brush again. Bit of kitchen towel. And you always dry it on your towel in between. Always dry yeah. it on your towel in between. Take the moisture off. Yeah. Especially when it's wet on the petal, and mm. that's how you build the colour up in that petal. So that's wet into wet. So we'll do that once more just to show you. We'll wet this petal here. There we go. So that's mm -hmm. wet. And then we'll take some of this pink and take that in to get the nice subtle pink over underlay yeah. colour. And you can build up more if you like to, you know, to your required level of intensity, whatever yeah. you want. And uh -huh. the, the great thing about these as well, Ben, which I love is, I always say at home, do not worry about getting yours to look like mine. Oh, yes. Because even when I do it twice, it will never it look will the, never same. the same. Mm. And that's the joy of watercolouring, I think, because each piece you do is unique yeah. to the piece you've done, which truly does make it a piece of artwork. So you see, I've just gone in with a more orangey colour there. So just add in a little bit of depth and I've got that lovely contrast between the pink and the peach. And you can just start to build it up. If you want to take some colour out because you think you've done a little bit much, you can with your clean brush of water, paint where you'd like a highlight, pick it up with your towel and it'll put that highlight in for right. you. So that makes that very easy. Yeah. Now, to do the background that I've got here, I'm not going to do the whole flower because I've got lots of different things I want to show you. Yeah. Um, to do the background, that soft background, you can see with that floral there. Oh, and can I just mention, actually, Ben, by always leaving the tip of the flower a little bit white, it makes these, every petal, look like it's overlaying oh, over I the see. next one. And yeah. then going deep at the base of the flower makes these lighter petals that go to the top, it gives it that 3D look. So yeah. if you do that, that's what will happen. I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Again, because we've got that... Um, heat embossing on there it acts as the reservoir for that coloring but it also acts as a barrier for the next thing that we're going to do mm -hmm. so i'm just going to color down some of this blossom here and now i'm going to with my wider brush in the background go in with the water okay. but i'm not going over the petals no very clever use of the brush there i'm just Using going the up to yeah. yes okay so you would do that all over i'm yep. just going to do the top bit because the whole thing will happen in the same way for you and then when you've done that by painting over the color picking it up off your mat and painting it onto the wet areas you get that lovely subtle background colour yes. in there, which then allows your flower to stand out. Okay, so you would go all yeah. over and do that. You can do it a little bit darker at the bottom if you want to, so bring in the darker colour, and you can build your intensity up at the bottom. If you want to do that, it's entirely up to you, uh, but you get the idea. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you continue, oh. Johnny, I feel the same. Johnny just said it's so therapeutic just watching you. He said he feels he feels so chilled out watching. I feel exactly the same. I feel <laughs> like I could quite easily have a cup of tea, go and sit over on the sofa over there, and just uh, just just watch. watch. Yeah. Can I do the show from the sofa? <laughs> Johnny goes. You've got to take all your stuff over. You can go and sit on the sofa. <laughs> ah, you're all right. I'll stand here. Right, so I'm just going to paint that on there a little bit. I just want to show you this. Um, so this petal here, mm. you would want it to be darker in this area here. And then you would paint your... So you're painting your deep colour there. Yeah. And you're just letting the, the wet into wet, the dark, it's spread in to colour itself. So I'm not, I'm not actually going to agitate that into that area. And then when I come to do this little bit that's folding up against it, because this is the same petal, I'll follow the same process. Yeah. Um, and then put the darker colour down this left-hand side, 
which means it then feels like this is lapping over there. Yeah, does that does. make sense? Yeah, no, it feels it like it's laid over. Mm. Okay, so that's how you would do that. And when you continue to do that, that's what you'll get. Incredible. And when you've got your big piece um, like this, trim it down, mat and layer on a card, Bob's your uncle. Now, that could not be easier, Ben. No. Anybody can pick a bit of colour up and whack it on the bit of card. Yes. And that's exactly what you're doing with that technique, and it looks absolutely it beautiful. It looks incredible. So that's the first one. So that's wet into wet technique yes. that you've just seen there. So if I move on from wet into wet technique to wet into dry, and I'll do that with these blues. So I've heat embossed this with, um, I've used Midnight, Midnight Pigment Ink okay. and Clear Embossing Powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, heat embossed it. So you get that beautiful enameled look, really, really gorgeous. I'm using my ink again, uh, my water pot and my brush. I'm not going to wet it no. this time. Um, I'm going to use a couple of different colours. So let's put them down. And this is the difference between wet into wet and wet into dry. And you'll see the difference in the result. Uh, I must admit, for a starter, I would always recommend wet into wet, the first one. Okay. The first one, because you need less control. Yeah. So this is the navy, this is the peacock blue, I believe. Oh no, wrong one, Leanne. Teal, this is the one I need. There we go. Okay. Very forgiven. Right, so the card is dry, which is what wet into dry means. But my brush and my ink is wet. So I'll pick up the ink from here with a damp brush, not a saturated brush, just a damp brush, and then go in and paint. Now you see it's not moving anywhere as it exploded before, it's literally going where I want it to go. Yes. Now if I don't stop at this point and clean my brush, I will fill that whole petal with the one colour, and I don't want to do that because I'm not able to easily move it around because the card is dry. So you need to go in and clean your brush and get most of the moisture off. And then to drag this out to get that subtle shade now, I can go out and drag that ink a little bit further. I see. Which I've managed to do there. But then I would go and clean my brush again and then bring it out a little bit further. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, and then go and clean my brush again. Yeah. There's nothing on it and just smooth the edge. And I get that lovely mm. shine on the petal. If I didn't do that, I'm just gonna do one wrong so you can see what would happen. And I've got my damp brush with my blue paint on again. And I'm just wanting it to get that lovely watercolor effect, but I don't clean my brush. Yeah. I just keep going on my petal and going on my petal and going on my petal. I just get a solid petal. Yes. It's cleaning your brush and going in with water Wet, wa wet water, of course, water's wet, onto the dry card. Yeah. That gives you that lovely diffused watercolour look. If you want to intensify that and put a little bit more shade on it, then I can go in with a tiny bit of the navy and I can go in and add in a little bit deeper shade. And then I clean my brush thoroughly again, take most of the water off, Move that and you can see how that now transitions between all three. And you would just continue to do that on every one of your petals. So is there a particular time when you go wet into wet and then wet into dry or? Um, no, just whatever you prefer. Right. Well, you know, whatever you prefer. It's, it's, it's your piece of artwork. I think the wet into wet yes. is more forgiving for a starter. And as you progress on your journey, you can get a little bit more depth of colour, mm. well you can, you can get more depth of colour with wet into dry than you can wet into wet because it's not diluting the paint as soon as you put it onto the petal where when you've wet it previously yeah. it dilutes it immediately. And, and is there, uh, this, this is my question, not, uh, so I'll, I will ask those in a second, you know because um, more, more often than not when we see um, our experts using these they, they're, they're using them how you're using them now so creating that palette on the mm -hmm. glass mat but then sometimes we, not as often, but we'll see them go in with the, the pen straight onto the cardstock and then draw the colour out that way. Is that a completely different look again? Uh, it's not a different look, it's just a different way. I would always advise against that. Okay. 
and I'm just going to show you why. Okay. It depends on the watercolour cardstock that you've got. Um, and again, I'm going to do another petal down here incorrectly so uh -huh. you can see what I'm referring to. If I just go in here now with my teal yeah. and put that on there, because the watercolour card is unfinished and mm. can be, I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word chalky, although there's no chalk in it in the process. Yeah. When you then go to move it, uh, okay. you can end up with a line. Right, right, yeah. I don't like the line. Yeah. I like it to be soft. So, and you've got to really, really work that out. I mean, it works, but you've really got to go in and work yeah. it out. And then you can get little bits of pilling on top of your card because it's water on an uncoated card surface. Yeah. The card could pill. And so, while you can still obviously get that result, I had to work a little bit harder for it. Yes. So, it's entirely up to you. My preference is this. But that's because I've been doing it for, I like wet into dry for certain techniques, wet into wet for others. Mm. If I'm colouring a, um, a detailed image like this, wet into dry every time. Yep. If I want something a little bit more loose and technique-y, so it doesn't look really, fo really focused, then I'll do the other technique, if that yeah. makes sense, Ben. And then you would do the same again in the background. You would do the wash of colour, the, the wash of water. Mm -hmm. I think it also shows you as well why these pens last such a long time because you, yeah. the fact that you're just dobbing down a little bit of ink on your glass mat, I mean, you hardly use anything, do no, you? No, they last for a long time. Mm. I've still got my original set. Have you actually? Yeah, yeah. Incredible. And so you see I can do the wash in the background exactly as we did with the um, lighter one, with mm. the pink one earlier. And of course you can dry it and then add in more intensity if you want to. And you would get exactly the same result as that, but in yeah. blue. Incredible. Now, if you want to paint it so it looks like a flower, am I out of time on this yet? We're okay. enjoying it, Dan. You, okay. You're the boss today on this one, I think. You're the boss. Have another five okay. or ten. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to now move to... I'm going to clean this up. Uh -huh. And please do tell me if I'm boring you at any point. Oh, and I'll I move am mesmerised. I think everybody else is as well, um, honestly. OK, so now I've got a clear one. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is where wet into wet is fantastic. Can I just say, I'm going to finish this off later. I'm absolutely loving it in the blue. It looks really lovely, doesn't it? I know, a bit of relaxing Friday night colouring. Absolutely, I'm going to take that home and finish it off. Yeah. Um, anyway, yes, with a bucket of wine. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely having a bucket of wine tonight. I think I've, I think I've earned it, Ben. You have. I have. Have I'm two buckets. I'm just going to pour the bottle in a bucket <laughs> and, and, and have it. Drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't do as I say. No. Or do. Drink and craft responsibly, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Um, right, so now I'm going to do wet into wet again. Yeah. Um, and this time I'm going to use purple, so I'm going to use the orchid. And this is how you can build up a, a different... an image where... sorry, an image where you want it to look watercoloured. Yes. Rather than the tone on tone. So again, you're going in with your water, and work on one area at a time, pick up your colour, paint it in. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do it. The white will resist, as you can see. So I am just can go over the top. I don't have to worry about it. Clean your brush. Drag the colour out. Now, that's when I didn't put very much water on the bottom of that petal. Yeah. If I put a lot of water on a petal, let's say this one, so I've pooled that, uh -huh. you'll get a different look because the the wet ink will want to go where the water is. So I make sure I've got a nice wet brush at the same time. Pick up a goodly amount. Touch it in. And so anybody can do this, Ben, because mm. all I'm doing is splodging ink yeah. in. And when you get to that point, stop. Clean your brush. If you continue, you'll just end up with a full, flat coloured petal again. Clean your brush with water on it. Continue to do the dabbing, and that will move it for you. Mm. And it does that natural shading. When you get to the point where you're happy with it, blast it with your heat gun. Yep. Get that effect. And what happens then? The mortar all moves around. Yeah, you can see it dispersing. And you get these beautiful 
almost little watermarks and little rivers of colour that appear really add to the overall appearance. Yeah. And if you really want to deepen that at this point when it's dry with a damp brush, go and get more of that colour. Deepen it for your shade. I don't see this to say, but it makes it look very petal-like. <laughs> it does make it look very petal-like, and you don't have to be an artist <laughs> to do it. No. Um, you know, you just continue and you do every single petal in that way. And when you do that with every single petal in that way, this was a different colour, mm. but this is what it's going to look like. And then the wash in the background is exactly as I did for the blue and the pink. So with one stamp and three different colourways, you get three entirely different looks using those two techniques of wet into wet and wet into dry. Absolutely blooming. Brilliant, is that? Um, we'll recap on these. I, I, I realise we've got quite a few questions coming in, so maybe we'll fire four or five questions at Leanne as well, if we can. Um, we'll get those get those answered. Uh, we'll do sort of four or five now, and then if you've got any more, ping those in, and we'll do another little question section later on. But it's lovely to see uh, comments like Vicky's coming in, just as we have a look at these, saying, not boring at all this. Keep going. I've been hesitant to try the aqua pens, but now I will. When you can see all of the different things that you can do. Look at the different colours that you've got here. You've got uh, 48 pens in total, uh, dual ended of course to that gorgeous brush nib and then your ultra fine nib as well. But you've seen like the best way to get the effects out of these is uh, taking them onto your glass mat and then creating almost like your own little artist palette. And isn't it amazing to see as well, this is the nature, um, the different effects that you can create uh, depending on how you use them. Um, the wet into wet, the wet into dry. Um, it's just incredible to see and, uh, and hopefully you're kind of seeing for yourself that it is um, you know, a very forgiving way to colour and a nice easy way to get into uh, doing your colouring as well. This is a great deal to go for today too just to kind of um, sort of ram that home because you should be paying almost £92 or $132 for the full set of um, aquacy so 48 pens you're only paying £50 and 2p if you're platinum today or 71 78 that's because you're getting a 20% saving, which is a great saving on its own for core product, but then you're getting 15% off on top, and then you're still getting your club inspired discount as well. So really, really great day to be able to pick those up with that huge discount. Give these a go. Maybe you are like Vicky, you sort of said, you know, I've been hesitant to try these. Today might be the day that you go, do you know what, at this sort of price, now I've got these uh, tuition to sort of come back and have a look at as well. I'm gonna give it a go. Let me just show you the ink pads that we've got, and then we'll ask these questions to Leanne too, because um, we have got um, some lovely ink pad bundles for you. Now, Leanne was using the opaque pigment ink pads just a few moments ago, so uh, we'll show you these. 10 you're going to get, again, with uh, two discounts. So 15% less 15%, uh, less your 20% if you're platinum, and a lovely selection of colours for you. So Chinese red, crushed velvet, damson wine, green topaz. You've got the uh, pumice, fuchsia, sandstorm. Back to the fuchsia. Oasis. Parakeet and your straw bale. So again, perfect for your uh, blending, and as you've seen, perfect for using with your embossing powders. Quick dry, um, once again here, this is 10% uh, saving, less an extra 15%. Um, and you, here you've got the Lagoon, you've got Baby Blue, Crushed Velvet, I love the colours in the uh, quick dry selection that we've got. Honey Pot, gorgeous. Lemon Tonic is stunning. Oasis. The orange is um, beautiful, super juicy. Uh, you've got the pine tree in there, pink tulip and twilight grey. So once again, 10 colours there for just 36.66 or 55 pounds and two cents if you're in the US and you're platinum. And, and as I say, it's great to bring you these deals because you guys were asking for um, amazing bundles on our ink pads. And then lastly, which haven't we done? Oh, the water reactive. Um, which are, again, same deal, 10% less, 15% less, 20 if you're platinum. Seal brown, uh, pumice, sandstorm, twilight grey, crushed velvet, this gorgeous colour, this one, the spa blue, grasshopper, parakeet, your smoked pearl, and then your anthracite as well. 36.66, 55 
02. Um, afternoon, Ben, says Sam McDonald. Uh, sorry, I've just woken up. I was only 12 hour shifts, eight to late. You don't have to apologize for being late. We appreciate you uh, joining us whenever you can. Uh, love watching Leanne Watercolor, says Jennifer Dawn Smith. I learned so much. Uh, Rosalind says, back for round two. Let's get Leanne more stars. Talking to more stars. Thank you, Terry, uh, who has filled up my uh, tablet. I'll just show you that. Those, those are all for you, Leanne. Um, Terry oh. Anderson sent sent those in for you there you go look at all those beautiful stars thank there. you so much yeah yeah that's so kind um few questions will fire um, leanne's way but let's have a look at some other goodies that you've got because if you pick up all of these amazing spectra noir products you might need somewhere to store them and to transport them uh the carry bag so uh, you have to buy the trays separately to this but it is a great carry bag Do you know what as well it's outside of crafting a uh, great little bag for taking away on a weekend as well just saying there's a lot of room in that um but if you want to um pop in your markers it will hold 216 and 42 of your ink pads the trays obviously you can buy separately we've got those on the show uh, it holds 18 pen trays and 14 ink pad trays and like Liam was saying a little bit earlier on too it's got loads and loads of extra um, pockets and storage for all sorts of goodies too love the fact that that front flap falls down as well so it is great for transportation but also just great as a way to um, kind of store all of your trays be they ink trays or pen trays and to, then to have all of your pens there in front of you wherever you're crafting just to select out of the particular tray 10% saving today Leicester Club inspire discounts that's 33.99 or 40 dollars 79. If it's the tri blends uh, that you uh, particularly love, the tri blend carry case is brilliant. Um, carries your 48 tri blend pens and also. Um, affords you the ability to be able to actually take the sort of center console out because it's all um, attached via that hook and mesh system so uh, if you want to take that center console out you can and it lies really nicely on your craft desk as well all stacked beautifully on top of each other so again you can uh, have easy access to the pens and you can see all of the different colors nice and easily too so again that's normally 40 pounds 50 dollars with your 10 percent saving today and then the club inspired discount it's a really great price 27 pounds 19 or $33.99 if you're shopping in the US and your platinum. And then we've got the uh, marker storage as well, the 12 marker storage, uh, particularly good again, if you've got things like your uh, tri-colors, uh, tri-blends, it will take 12 of those markers. And also, um, as I said earlier on, if you just want to take a few pens with you, I don't know, maybe you're going away and you want to do a bit of crafting, uh, you're going on a bit of a journey, you don't want to take the full stack. It's a nice little uh, smaller uh, wallet to be able to take just a selection of your pens with you. And once again, that's on a 10% saving today too. So the price comes down to £10.19, $14.44, and the platinum price, I mean, unbelievable, really, £8.15p or $11.55. The, the storage wallets, uh, the carry cases, today have been very, very popular, as have the trays been. I think uh, a lot of people got in their mind, you know, New Year, uh, getting yourself organized, and a great way to do it, whether it's ink pads, whether it's pens, or whether it's both, um, to get a selection of our storage trays. These ink pad storage trays, um, you're gonna get six, you'll be able to hold three on each, 18 ink pads in total. And as we were chatting to Leanne about earlier on, obviously holds all of our amazing ink pads, but you'll find pretty much universally you'll get all of your ink pads uh, to store in those trays. And they've even got a little lip at the back. So if you've got more of those, uh, those square ink pads, they'll settle in there nicely for you as well. So they won't kind of like go to the back so you can't fish them out. They're, they're there nice and easily for you to select. £10.87 platinum or £15.97 if you're shopping in the US. And if it's uh, pen storage you're after, uh, we've got the universal black pen tray. Six trays hold 72 pens and again a 10% saving less your club inspired discount platinum members £12.79 or $15.97 worth mentioning at this point as well that if you are a newbie I only say this because I think it was in this show yesterday when Dee messaged to say uh, that she got an extra 20% off because it was her first purchase and she just uh, signed up to club inspire if you are new today and you're thinking of buying something do make sure you go to the website you'll see that club inspire logo click on it and join our little club it is free to join no subscription fees or annual memberships anything like that I've seen those clubs before we don't do that here you can sign up for free uh, we just need your name email address you create a password and you're in and there you go sign up today you've got 20 percent off your first order and of course then the more you shop with us uh, for each and every pound and dollar that you spend you get a point the more points you get and the more money you save and it's just a great club to be in so do make sure if you are new today first thing you do is sign up for that club it'll take you about one minute uh, and you'll thank us later right it's time to quiz Leanne. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love, I love quiz. I love questions. Come on, Ben. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to. 
I find them now because there's tons, well, there's not tons, there's, there's quite a few. Okay, ready, here we go. First question, Sandra Dundas. Uh, can you refill the illustrators? Okay, so they're not made to be refilled, but you can, um, can you, yeah, no, they are made, I'm thinking about the tri-blend. Illustrators, 100%, yes, you can refill them. Marvellous. Denise would like to know, Leanne, what is the best way to store my pens, up and down or horizontal? Horizontal, always, without exception. Brilliant, isn't it? Laurel says, um, are the colours in the discovery kits different from the 12-piece or 6-piece sets? Uh, there might be some odd... So, we've got 168 colours of marker in total. Mm -hmm. They get distributed through different kits, depending on the best colours for the job. So, it is highly likely that if you've got all of the markers you might get a duplicate or two in the big discovery kit but the actual markers in the discovery kit and the four piece sets i believe are different okay thank you maricel says can you use water reactive ink pads with clear embossing powder for a similar result 100 percent, yes you can <laughs> d shah says I love the way, if it's like a quick answer, Leanne's just straight in there, very succinct and to the point. No beating around the bush. Should we get more questions in? Dee says, hey, Ben and Leanne. Hey. Hi. Question. What? <laughs> question. Tell me what you think about me. I uh, do know that's exactly what went through my head at the <laughs> same <sorry>. time. <laughs> <laughs> always a song, Ben. Great minds, eh? Great mm -hmm. minds. That isn't the question. No. Okay. The question is... What well, I think you're a great human being. That's what I think. Well, oh, is that your answer? Yes. Oh, well, thank you. I yeah. think you're a great human no, being. No, I think you are. No, I think you no, are. No, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. No, you hang no, up you. first. No, okay, you hang I'll up. hang up. You hang up. <laughs> uh, Dee, anyway, Dee's like, just ask my question, for goodness sake. <laughs> Sorry, Dee. Your question was, what cardstock or paper do you recommend when doing the wet onto wet? <gasps> Did I neglect to tell you that? Oh my word, I've ashamed myself. Watercolour card every single time without exception. Uh, do I have to use water? Oh, you've just answered this really, but we'll ask it again. Paula, so do I have to use, do I have to use watercolour paper to do these techniques? You don't have to, but it won't look very good if you don't. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of people asking. I don't think we've got it. Um, a lot of people saying what stamp that you used and in that last demo. It's an old What's it one. called? It was called, I've had it a while, mm. Ben. It's yeah. just one of my faves. Uh, Flowers and Buds. Uh, okay. I, I know for, we haven't, we, it's not, we don't have it, unfortunately. But there'll be similar, similar beautiful stamps. Any, any floral stamp that you've got, you can do that with. Any single one of the florals on the website, you can do exactly the same technique with it, it'll look beautiful. Excellent. And this is a bit, I'll ask, it was a difficult, bit of a difficult one to answer. Um, uh, Kate, lovely Kate. Um, what's the best way of getting the whole collection of illustrators? Um, she says, I have the big box of 36, but do I then buy the rest in singles or what? I would always say it's going to be better value to buy, if you can buy a four, isn't it? If you can buy a four. So what I would do is I'd make myself a chart, a print. So if you go, if you go to the spectrumwire.com website, mm -hmm. there are charts that you can download. And there's a chart for all 100 and however many, or 216 illustrators, yeah. however many there are. What I would do is have a look at the colours in each of the sets, put a tick in the boxes, buy the sets, because that's the most reasonable way to do it, and then any gaps, buy single markers for them. It's brilliant, isn't it? There's one more, and then we've, I think we've covered all of them pretty much that we've got so far. Stephanie Theodos wants to know, how long does it take the glossy highlights to dry? It depends how thick you apply it. But let's say you've done, you know, like a domed bezel. You're probably going to need a good six hours for that, um, okay. for it to be completely solid and postable. It'll get a film on top. It'll feel kind of touch dry. Just let it dry fully. So I would say overnight and you'll be safe. Beep, 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 beep. Time is up on the first round of questions to Leanne. You scored eight points with no passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the questions. Keep them coming in. We'll, we'll do more. We'll do more a little bit later on. Uh, Terry just saying, I love the pen and ink pad storage. Not only useful, but looks amazing, filled up uh, and so organised. Um, thank you to Rondu, who says, I have two of the carry bags. Both are completely full. Love watching Leanne, says Stephanie. You are the reason that I love to colour again, she says. Thank you for sharing your knowledge of these fabulous products. Well, I'm really grateful. That's so kind. Thank you. Kelly Jones, uh, a couple more, says, Ben, my picture arrived yesterday. Yes. I love it. 
uh, I couldn't I imagine that Crafters Companion scissors could be could really be that much better than what I bought at my local craft store. But since you had the nine inch on your cart load, I tr decided to try them and I was shocked at how much better they are. Kudos to Crafters Companion. And in the words of Debbie Fisher, why are our scissors so good? They just work. <laughs> yes, yes, they just work. They just work. <laughs> they just work. <laughs> and Sonia, I mean, this is a, an essay here. Um, let us read this out though. Thank you, Sonia, who says, I know it's been quite a while uh, since I've been able to watch the live and I've missed your bunches, but I uh, am, of course, still using all of my CC products. When it comes to the Spectrum Noir line of inks, I have all of even the Academy of Colours, and I said all of that to tell you all, if you do not have any of these on sale today, then you need to treat yourself because you will be so happy you did. I have never been disappointed. Y'all are both great humans. Oh. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. That's very kind. Do you know what? I love our crafty family, Ben. Me too. I really do. We get to know your names. We get to have a chat. We get to share with you. I just think it's fabulous. Yeah. I really and I do. genuinely do feel like I, I recognise so many of you yeah. now. Hundreds of the names that come in every day. Yeah. And I, I'm beginning to kind of, you know, know what you're all like. And some of you are a bit funny with your jokes and your, you mm -hmm. know, your banter and stuff. And it, we, it sounds cheesy, but it's true. We are like one big happy, happy family. Happy family. Aren't we? We, hey, are, we are. Indeed. Um, and we love you guys as much as you love us. Right, next demonstrazione, we're going to have a look at... We're going to use how many water reactive. Right. We're going to use quick dry. Um, and we're going to make this out of white cardstock. And white cardstock only. What? Yep. No green cardstock there. What? Yep. True story, Ben. True. Yep. True. Hashtag true story. Hashtag true story. Well, I cannot so wait to see I this. I am using my Spring Meadow and Lagoon Harmony yep. Water Reactive. And I'm just going to blend myself a background. Now, a couple of ways you can do this. You can go the recommended route. Or you can go the hardcore route. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going recommended. Oh, right. And I might throw in a bit of hardcore at the end. Nice. Yes, like Hard Jack Black in the School of Rock. <laughs> no, you're not. Hardcore. <laughs> Till you live hardcore. That one, you know the one. Uh, I, vague, not, I obviously don't know it as well as you, but I just didn't, I appreciated the impression. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's the little girl with the red hair yeah. who sings that bit. That's your no. That's not your favourite movie, is it? Your favourite movie. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Your favourite movie is. Um, Nacho Libre. Oh my word, I love it. Yeah. Oh my word, I love it so much. Big hug, little hug. <laughs> big kiss, big kiss. <laughs> With these stretchy pants, my stretchy pants. Yeah, oh my word, pants. so fantastic. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's so funny. Jack Black He's is a, a legend. He's a funny man, isn't he? He really is a legend. Yeah, he is good. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, son can literally recite the whole of Natural <laughs> Nacho Libre, the, the movie. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes. He can recite it. He can all the funny bits. He can act them out, tell you exactly what's happening when. It's, um, again, in a movie I've, se I've seen once, but I think I've only seen once, so I'd, I'd be struggling uh. to... To quote, I shall maybe have to go back and... It's uh, hilarious. How old are your kids now? Uh, oh, cut me out. Uh, <laughs> my son is going to be 15 this year and my daughter's going to be 12. OK, so it's appropriate for both of them. Fine. So yeah. you don't have to hide it from them. Oh, to be honest with you, uh, yeah. <laughs> my, I think my wife's a little bit um, slapdash when it comes to um, film ratings and whatnot. <laughs> Um, especially, oh uh, dear, but my daughter's 11. I, see, I get your take on this. Yeah. <laughs> so she's, a, no, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So, um, you know, you know um, which, which movie is it, Johnny? Oh yeah, Love Actually. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow! Yep, that's what happened over Christmas time. She couldn't really understand my, um, Concern. <laughs> <laughs> I came home. You had a nice night? Yeah. What have you been doing? Oh, watching a movie with Daisy. Oh, what you watched? Love Actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was expecting Home Alone or something like that, you know. Oh, but my it's like, word. <gasps> it's, yeah, she's not like she's not heard those words before. Right, OK. <laughs> well, I suppose if she's willing to answer the questions, that will ensue. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I suppose, because it's not just the funny words, is it, in that movie? Let's be honest. 
But maybe it was a girl. I certainly glad I wasn't there. Is all yeah, I'm saying. Absolutely. My husband. I don't know if I should share this with you. I'm going to share. Do it because I've just so, shared something I shouldn't have shared. Yeah. Probably. So my husband, my, my son takes. To, it just really does. I'm going to say take the mickey. I don't know how that translates over in the US, um, but really does t take great humour in, in sending his dad up because when Peter was little, if ever anything came on the on the television which was remotely, don't want to watch this with a teenager, uh -huh. you know, like um, wildlife programs, oh, yeah. things like that, but mm. obviously not. But you get you get where I'm going. Yeah. Um, he, he develops for some reason an itchy arm. <laughs> So right. when he's watching it, he's like, oh, it's on the telly. <laughs> itchy arm. <laughs> I have to go in the kitchen. <laughs> I've got an itchy arm. Right, so Peter now, that he's much older, isn't he? 28, he'd be like that. If something comes on the telly, he'll say, ma'am, <laughs> it's a bit itchy arm, that. <laughs> Which is really quite funny. Oh, anyway, I, I, there we go. I might remember that for the future. Yeah, it's itchy arm. Get, good way to get out. <laughs> oh, dear. I've just got a hot sweat on just thinking about that. <laughs> um, can I ask you a quick couple of questions? Of course you can, please do. Relevant to what you're doing. Eva says, what type of paper is Leanne using? Watercolour card, always. Uh, um, what is the difference between using the square pad and the round blending pad, Tammy wants to know? Uh, you can cover more surface more quickly with a, with a square one. Mm. For big backgrounds, always square. For small details, round. Gotcha. Good questions. Uh, Gareth says, I always struggle using the square blending pads. You make it look so easy, Gareth says. Keep it flat. Don't have it on an edge. Mm. If you've got it on an angle, you're not going to get as much blending. Okay. Flat to your card. Mm. And in circles with a little bit of pressure. Mm. Um, I am going to now swap this again. I've got really mucky fingers. I do apologise. Notice fun. what I'm doing is I'm keeping hold of this with a piece of kitchen towel because yeah. if you've got warm fingers, oh, will it? It, you'll get fingerprints right, in it gotcha. and you don't want to do that. Yes. Now, this is the um, recommended way. Oh, you've not gone hardcore yet? I haven't gone hardcore yet. If no. you ju and I just keep building up the colour. Now, I keep putting layers and layers and layers and layers on till I get to this intensity of colour. Wow, yeah. If you don't want to wait forever, take your ink pad to your card, mm -hmm. then Ooh, blend it out. Oh, okay. Ah, I've never seen that before. And you get that deep, intense colour more quickly. That's incredible. That is, is that hardcore? That's hardcore. Ah. Oh, you're not hardcore. <laughs> Unless you live hardcore. <laughs> You've got to watch it now, Ben. I'm going to have to watch it again. Oh, was it on Sky? See, look at the intensity in there, in that light green. Uh -huh. So I've just gone straight with the ink pad on there. Yeah. And then just blend it out. And that's how you can get the more intense colour more quickly. Yeah. By going straight in with your ink pad and then blending it out. OK? Amazing. And there's nothing, there's no law course that you're going to end up in by doing that just mm -hmm. makes it happen a bit quicker for you and then what we're going to do is some faux bleaching uh -huh. so i've got my paint brush which is a little bit damp and then all i do is in the direction of my card tap my brush on the back of my finger guardian leviosa yes that uh, that okay yeah. and when i've done that leave yeah. it to sit for a little while uh -huh. the longer you leave it to sit the more intense the white for bleaching result will be. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a little minute. Uh -huh. And then I might let it sit a little bit longer at home, but I've left it as it is there for now. A piece of kitchen towel over the top, picks up the wet ink and leaves you with your four bleached effect. Perfect. Okay. And then what we're going to do is take a contrasting colour in our... Um, quick dry inks now and right. I've got my rocker block. I'm just going to give that a little dry, Ben. Should I just share her tip? She says whenever I'm doing backgrounds I always keep a baby wipe near to clean my fingers because your hard work gets fingerprints when you don't want it. It really um, does, you're and, quite right. And our Sarah Kay is watching says I'm now going to have that song, song? I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all day now. I love School of Rock. Brilliant, isn't it? I think it's—is that an ACDC song? Oh, it's, now you've got it, me. I know. I need to. I think it will be because there's loads of ACDC in that movie. Right. So I'm going to use this little texture piece, and this is from Swirly Florals. 
if you're interested, swirly florals. Mm -hmm. And now I'm using my Lagoon quick dry ink pad because I've done my, my watercolour on the bottom. I want to get some real lovely texture, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to move with water. I want it to be crisp images. So I'm going in with my quick dry onto that stamp with my rocker. And then I'm just going to choose some areas to stamp. Okay. And then I'll get some lovely bits of texture. I've got that little bit there. Stamp off the card. Don't always stamp on, stamp off the edge. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't worry if it gets a little bit faded in places. Just use your ink up because actually having the faded pieces is just as fabulous yeah, it is. as having the really dark piece. And what that does is allow you to use all the ink up yeah. off your stamp from one inking. And you build that lovely textured background up Incredible. using your quick dry. Mm -hmm. I might just like another little bit in that corner there that I can see. Is Rock of Block your favourite implement Always, to stamp I love with? It. Mm. It's my very favourite. The original and will always be my first love when it comes to stamping. I absolutely adore it. So you do your texture all over the back. And then when you've done your texture all over the back, with a die, you cut yourself an aperture yeah. in a panel. That's great. And then we looked at making the dome card earlier, didn't we? You just do the dome card as yeah. we did this morning. And then what I've done additionally, um, Ben, is with quick dry ink, I'm just going to clean this up because it will, it will get where I don't want it to go. Bear with me a second. Get this out of the way. There we go. With my quick dry ink, yep. I've stuck. Look at the state of me. I have <laughs> stamped um, a rose, uh -huh. and that rose is from Have a Lovely Day. And I've stamped it with quick dry, because then what I'm going to do is take the same ink and pop a little bit on my mat, and I'm going to take a clear sparkle pen. And pick up a tiny, need my glasses, a tiny little bit of this off the mat. And because I'm picking it up with a sparkle pen, the quick dry ink will become a watercolourable ink. And then I'm going to watercolour. Uh, so hang on, so quick dry with your sparkle pen? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to watercolour that there. And yeah. then you always need a spare piece of card because you need to get the ink off the end. And drag it out. Ooh, now okay. then. If you don't want to, and I know what everybody at home is screaming at the TV, I don't want to waste all that sparkle, Leanne. I don't want to waste Clean all the sparkle, pen. Leanne. I don't want to waste Come it. On. So the other thing you can do mm -hmm. is pick it up with a wet brush, damp brush, I should say. Do your water colouring. So this is your wet into dry that we did earlier. Yeah. Clean your brush. Drag it out. Clean your brush, drag it out. Yep. Blast it with a heat gun. You could do the whole image. I'm just doing one petal. You don't need to do it in between each piece. Blast it with your heat gun. Go in with your clear sparkle. Oh, and then layer on after. And do a layer after. Yeah. And then you don't waste your sparkle. Bit more frugal. Bit more frugal. Depends how you're feeling. And then what you'll get is beautiful. Hope you can see. Yes. Incredible. Sparkly roses. Is that, is that just one piece of cardstock? It looks... Yeah. That, see, that, that, that is a, incredible. It looks like it's almost been decoupaged. Yeah, incredible. one piece. Incredible. One piece. And it's um, and then that's the other stamp from the stamp plate. Yeah. And then all I've done on the dome card, using those things, that I've, using that background and then using those lovely flowers is 3D them up um, and you get a really beautiful piece. And you can... The background in there, I've done the same technique but with a different colour. That is incredible. How beautiful is that? Amazing. And that's using your Harmony Water Reactive and your Quick Dries together to build texture on a blended background. Oh, wow. This is um, turning into such a great show, isn't it? I cannot believe uh, we're well into the second hour already. Uh, Kate McQueen saying these are my absolute favourite rose stamps. I use them all the time, especially when I'm experimenting. And Marisol says, I love learning from Leanne. Uh, but I have to leave to work. Ah, oh, work, work, schmirk. <gasps> We're like the same person, Ben. We are like one of the same, aren't we? Yeah. So happy I'm in the Academy of Colour for all of her excellent tutorials. Yes, because then you can use your digital Leanne, your little pocket 
Leanne, any time you want to. Um, Kathleen White just wants to know quickly, can you use pigment ink with the sparkle pen? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you can. Good news. We're going to have a look. Oh, hang on. One more question. Yep. So, says Coletta Cooper, the quick dry doesn't smear with water. No, because it dries quick on the card. But when you put it onto the glass mat, because that's a non-porous surface, it doesn't dry, which is why you can move it with some water or the sparkling to be able to paint with it. Amazing. All the questions being answered. I'll tell you what, uh, we're going to take a bit of a break. If you have a question, get it in in the next three or four minutes and then we'll fire some more question Leanne's, questions Leanne's way. And more importantly than that, get these deals checked out. How amazing that you've got all of these amazing products with your Love to Craft discounts before your Club Inspire discount. And then you've got all of these amazing demos and tutorials and techniques that you can take away as well. Incredible stuff. What a great show. Let's have a break and we will come back with more in just a few moments time. So get your baskets checked out, fire those questions in and we'll see you in a moment. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. a really special Love to Craft event. So all of our craft experts are going to be doing masterclasses using the products and the techniques that we love the most. So here's the team to tell you a little bit more about it. So you know me and I love die cutting. On Monday I'll be having a whale of a time with some beautiful creator card dies. Join me then. It might be gloomy outside but I'm going to bring in summer to you next Tuesday with the Nature's Garden Wisteria range. What's better than die cutting and card making? It's layering your die cuts on your card. Come and join me for a masterclass on Wednesday. And on Thursday, Ben and I are going to be bringing you the most incredible card load with deals that I just know you'll be head over heels for. Why not brighten up your Friday with a pop of extra colour? I'm going to be here for a masterclass that I know you're going to love. Saturday is my box making masterclass, so I hope you can join me and get creative. Do you like making your handmade cards and gifts a little bit more special? Then craft along with me on Sunday for all things personalisation. There'll be new deals launching every day so you can find everything you need to fall head over heels in love with craft again. Join us on Crafters TV where you can find your new crafty love.
There you go. Lots still to come this week. As you can see, uh, Michelle here tomorrow, Corin here on Sunday. So lots to love. Um, Kirsty Lee just said, I finally ordered some storage for my classic pens. Nice work. Uh, every other time I've tried up, I've ended, uh, I've ended up ordering something else instead. Lol. Um, well, well done on grabbing those. Some great deals uh, on those today. A couple of quick questions before we get back into it. Okay. Uh, Mary says on YouTube, are the ink pads refillable? No. They're not. We don't do refills for the ink pads yet, simply because the amount of ink we and so just honestly, mm. the amount of ink we'd need to put in a bottle it would end up being quite expensive, and that bottle would last you. I mean, it it just doesn't feel worthwhile, Ben. No, you know, it doesn't feel worthwhile because, and also getting the right. So here's the other thing: when you've got a refill for ink pads, you can get too little or too much in. And then the ink floods all over and it gets splodgy and then you have to waste a load by stamping a load of images and then sometimes it's a bit dry and you don't know how much to get in. It just creates a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. So we've, ne we've not gone down that route. Okay. And Felicity Fletcher, hello Felicity, says, Leanne, I have the Academy of Colour and I found a great white pen. I've bought many in the past at great expense, but few have worked. I can't find another on the website. Do we sell additional ones? Um, if the only other we are we are uh, by great demand uh, going to be bringing individual ones for mm -hmm. you but it'll take us a little while to get them in if you desperately want one in that four pack in your bargain in your bag Ben uh, yeah in your bag in my one, bag there's one in your bag yeah um, what I would say to you as well, Felicity, uh, yes, it's in this set here in your um, acrylic paint markers. So you've got the white, the black, the silver, and the gold. Now, if you obviously, if you're just wanting an, an individual pen, if it's just the white pen that you've wanted, um, well, let's get the details up for you, and you can see for yourself here. Uh, it's twenty pounds or twenty-eight dollars. However, you'll get the pen that you wanted alongside a whole host of other goodies. I mean, if you just want to buy these individually, you can to get the white pen. But what I would say to you is, this grab bag is incredible value for money. And if you're a big fan of um, Spectrum or our goodies, look what you can get for that twenty quid. Four of your acrylic paint markers. We're giving you the most popular of the discovery kits, which is that manga and comic discovery kit. Uh, brings you so much within it. Uh, set of illustrators, you've got a couple of classiques in there, your art liner, you've got your marker paper, your how-to booklet in there as well with that forward from Nicola Yao. You've then also got in this collection your set of amazing um, twin tipped metallic markers as well. So those are included, all of that for £20 or $28. Plus, thrown in, you've got your um, AB2 in the illustrators and an amazing bottle. A lot of you have been chatting about this and asking about it of our uh, glossy highlights as well. So yes, whilst you uh, perhaps are just looking for that white pen, uh, it's a great bundle, isn't it? To get a whole host of brilliant Spectrum Noir goodies and a really, really busy collection today. We've done these grab bags right throughout this week and no word of a lie, the two that we've got on today are the best ones that we've done as far as I'm concerned. Saving £18.45 or $26.95 and that's your platinum price, £20 or $28. Dollars. Worth bearing in mind as well that um, our Love to Craft event does bring you so many great deals. It's the yellow stickered items that you're looking out for on the website. Best thing to do to see all of the daily deals is just hit the shop, the show or shop the day button. And then all of those items and deals are lined up there for you. We're going to come back to the aqua pens and have another little um, sort of lesson with Leanne, if you like. Um, you guys have absolutely loved this show. And I love the fact you know, that we're taking time with this masterclass to um, get loads of hints and tips and techniques on off Leanne and again keep firing those questions in we're loving the questions any question that you want no matter how uh, basic that you think it might be ask the question because if it means that you go away with kind of more information and more knowledge and it helps you um, you know to become better at what you're doing amazing and also if you're thinking potentially about getting uh, this aqua pen collection but there's a question that you need to ask before you buy it then ask that question and then at least you can buy with confidence going away with your question answered and then all these hints and tips and techniques and demos that you can copy when you get back. Um, this again is an incredible deal because you're getting uh, four packs of your um, over 12, so you're getting 48 pens in total, dual tipped, of course, um, and you've seen all of them, well, I say all of that, lots of different ways that you can use these to create fantastic effects. So in essence, this is 92 pounds worth or $132 worth of core product that you are receiving a 20% discount on, then another 15% because it's that important yellow box this week, 
and then your discount within Club Inspire. £50 2p or $71.78 is crazy when you consider what you're getting. Look at the different colours that you're going to get and in your floral. And once again, this is just showing you the different hues that you can create simply by um, adding water to all of your pens and uh, to all of the colours, I should say. And as you've seen, you know, the majority of the time you're using these, you're dabbing these onto your glass mat, adding uh, the water to create all of those different effects. So these pens are going to last you a long, long time because you're only using a little bit of the ink. Uh, each and every time that you create with them. Um, that last that I showed you was your nature. You've got all your primary colors included in there too. And then lastly in the set are your essentials. So 48 dual tip markers uh, for just over 50 pounds or $71 uh, if you're shopping in the US today. Um, we are going over. <laughs> I'm having a mini egg. Uh, no, no, I, um, it's fine. Do you know what, what it is? Um, ben, I don't know how I feel about them fruity ones. Fruity? Yeah, the ones that have got the solid colour shell on them. Oh, those are Craig's funny, um, there's milky bar ones, and then there's like, is it, it's cherry chocolate orange one. I think we just, can we behave and just keep no, with the original the mini, mini eggs? Mini eggs. It's quite funny, actually, because yeah. um, there, there's some bags over there. Craig's obviously made some um, beautiful gift bags the other day, and I didn't see the bags of mini eggs over there. And he put on Insta today that he, he's in Scotland, um, gone back home for a few days to relax, and he put a little thing up on Insta going, yeah, I've just remembered that I've left me bags of mini eggs on the shelf. Bet they've all gone, because Sarah and Ben were in last night. Well, I hadn't seen them, had I? And now he mentioned it on Instagram. I did now see him, and now we're eating them. So yeah. um, that, Thanks, that's Craig. Thing. Thank you, Craig. You're the best. You are. Um, we're going to go back to <laughs> we're going to go back to Leanne for some more demos. Um, Crafty Angie just saying, can you please ask Leanne from where did she take the rose that she just finished colouring? You did mention that actually. Yes, it's called. We're just going to have a quick look for you. Um, I'm going to tell you. So many floors. We did say it's it called. Fine. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. There you go. Search for that on the <laughs> on the website. Right. What are we going to do next? We're going to have a look at how to stamp and colour and create a background Ooh. with aqua markers. We're going to do wow. the background and we're going to do the image as right. well. Right. Okay. So we're going to start with the background. Okay. Let's start with the background. So I've got my small rocker block and I've got this set of stamps, which was from Vintage Butterflies and it's called Beautiful Butterflies. You've got a ridiculous amount of different butterflies on there. Um, you're having another egg there, Ben. What? We could hear you rustling. Oh, sorry. We could hear you rustling in the mini egg bag there. Stop putting in a box, George. <laughs> now, the colours <laughs> I'm using are gold, sunset, hot pink and crimson. OK, so I'm going to use those. And they're a lovely collection of, like, oranges, yellows, hot pinks. <clears throat> They'll all mm -hmm. go together really well. It's hot pink. So we're going to start with the yellow, and I'm going to do that round at the outside. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? doesn't matter where you put it. But what you're going to do is with your stamp on your block, your pen parallel, so almost flat against, you want the full size, excuse my dirty hands, the full you size of the brush, the full side of the brush nib stroked yep. over your stamp. What you don't want to do is draw on top of it. Okay. So when you do that, you draw the stamp across like this and what that does is take the ink so we're just going to mix up where we put these colors and you don't have to put them all in the same place you can completely mix it up so that was with the gold uh -huh. this is with sunset i think i need my glasses here they are excellent that's better uh, a little bit of sunset mm -hmm. just stroke that on in places and then I'm going with the hot pink. Sorry if I'm crunching away here. From the sunset. No, we can't hear you. Oh, can you not? No. Good. Uh, so I've got the hot pink on there. Yep. Mix that up. I might have a mix a little bit of crimson in. Doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you. It's your butterfly. Every mm -hmm. butterfly is unique. It is. So once we've done that, we're going to ha. 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 Which is literally on your stamp <laughs> it's a <laughs> like <laughs> like that <laughs> and what that <laughs> does the heat from your breath <laughs> <laughs> gives you the enough moisture yeah. to stamp with your aqua marker <laughs> how fabulous is 
that. That is fabulous. Isn't it? Now, when you're building up a background, you can get a few more. <sighs> <laughs> that is fabulous. <sighs> That's a good question, actually. How did you find out about that? <laughs> just... I don't know, it's just reactivating this, isn't it? It's just like, <laughs> yeah, and so I've done that, and mm, I'm not going to, I'm going to do that in a minute. So now I would go back, I've got three, uh -huh. and I think any more, I won't get a full image. No. So what I'm going to do is repeat the process, but I'm not going to clean my stamp. Okay. So I'm going back in with the gold. Mm -hmm. Again, and then I went from gold to sunset <laughs> from memory. Yeah. Are you just huffing in my ear then, somebody? <laughs> oh, you're doing it. Good. <laughs> who was it who was huffing recently and um, came out into a fit of coughing? Was that Debbie Robinson? <laughs> Hot pink. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's featuring many times on my wrap-up this week, by the way. That'll be going live hopefully later on today. Okay. <laughs> and then... <clears throat> You get a, a good one. Go on. There you go. Another one. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, now I'm just doing it for a face. Yeah, I'm loving it now. <laughs> right, so, so funny. <laughs> once you've done that, that was just for a face. You don't need to do that. You don't need to be aggressive with your heart. That was just me, just heart in a normal fashion. You don't need to be like karate heart. <laughs> which is what I did, seen. just for a face. <laughs> <laughs> normal one you don't have to do them in karate fashion like me like super bruce lee has you don't need to do that oh, anyhow with your spritzer Whew. we're going to aim it at the <laughs> butterflies and mm -hmm. spritz so when you do this i'm just gonna here we go <coughs> the ink will can you see it moving yeah so it will start to move and create a background for you mm -hmm. and the closer you go the more it will move and you can just leave it it will keep moving uh, and create a lovely, soft, almost watercoloured background. Now, wow. if you do that and you don't want it to move anymore, you can dry it with your heat tool. But if you want it to keep moving, just put it to one side. And I want mine to keep moving a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that there and I'll clean that mess up in a minute. Right. So next thing I'm going to do now is my big one. So I've got another piece of watercolour card. And I've got the big one now. And I'm going to do the same colours again. Right. I've got little pools of colour happening on my desk over here. So this is my favourite butterfly. This is oh, the... Oh, that's the uh, Monarch, isn't the it? The Monarch mm. from the Vintage Butterflies collection. That was the one I was using for the tricolour demonstrations mm. in birthday week. So if you were watching then and you didn't get it, now's your chance. Yes. Right, so I'm going to start again with gold at the edges. And I'm doing exactly the same again, pens on an angle. Yeah. And I'm just stroking the colour in a random fashion, Ben. I am not worried at all about being precise about the application here because you want it to feel very loose and yeah. very painterly. That's the whole point. And the thing is, you're going to throw a ton of water at it, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to it. move around anyway. So you don't really do not need to spend an amount of time oh. making sure that this is perfect. You can see mm. all I'm doing is just getting colour on. So that was the gold. Now I'm doing sunset. Lots of love for your colour schemes coming through. And uh, Coletta Cooper just saying, we used to huff on the stamps back in the day. And lovely Joy Sampson says, Leanne, I love that trick that you've taught us. I do it every time. And I say, thanks, Leanne, each time. Oh. And I know that you can't hear me, but your tips transcend space and time. And for that, we thank you. Oh, Joy. Mm. Thank you so much, really. What a Leanne love today. It makes me, makes my heart happy. Thank you so much, Joy. Leanne <laughs> says, you're gonna, you'll have to do a superhero <sighs> on that ginormous <laughs> stamp. Are you happy on this one? <laughs> just, just, just said, Mayor, are you going to hat on this? <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> it would be like the big bad wolf, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 
Now, what you have to do here, this is another tip. This is called, <laughs> this is called an elongated ha. <laughs> 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 and this is how you have to do it. <laughs> this is how you have to do an elongated ha. Are you ready? Big, deep breath from your toes. <laughs> 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 yes! Yes! A big elongated oh. hat, and that's what happens. Oh, Not a little big You've got to breathe in from your toes and that's... move your head around the stamp. Whilst a lot of these tips you're showing us today, anyone yeah. can do, but that big, that high is years of practice, isn't it? Years of practice, yeah. Ben. I yeah. mean, the diaphragm, the amount yeah. of exercise I need to do to keep that hat in place <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> now then, so what, what you've done, I'm going to come back to that in a second, but I just need to show you this. To create another big background, um, take your spritzer. <laughs> And do a perfume waft on your stamp. <laughs> right. So a perfume waft. You know when you're walking through the super, through the through the department stores, and all of them very annoying women. I'm sorry if you are one. Is standing in a line and goes like that at you with the perfumes as you walk down the aisle, and you don't know what you smell of by the time you get to the end of it. That's what you're going to do on your stamp. A perfume waft. Yeah. So it's kind of high and a little mist. You don't want it to be sopping wet. Yeah. And then what I can do with a piece of watercolor card is create myself another background because That's i can amazing. get uh, several different <laughs> little stamps and then when i cut this down um i will have created myself by just filling in that gap don't my, don't worry if they overlap no you've created yourself a beautiful background piece using up the waste ink on your stamp so don't waste the ink on your stamp and then if you want to you can go in and just give it a bit of a spritz and leave it to dry and there's another background piece for you for another time okay that is incredible. So that's just cleaning mm. your stamp there now then back to this one so what you're going to do is give it a little dry just uh -huh. a little bit not a lot isn't that like paul daniels just a little not a lot yeah you're gonna <laughs> like this just a little not a lot thank you debbie <laughs> right okay so we've done that and yep. then we're going to take our paintbrush uh-huh and with a damp paintbrush, just drag out the colour. Okay. Ooh. And it will self-colour itself. So you can drag out the colour. Yeah. And you see, I'm not really being careful there at all. I'm absolutely, literally just scribbling a damp brush over the top of the butterfly. And all of the colour will meld in. Beautiful. And you'll get this lovely watercoloured butterfly mm. effect. Now, depending on how much colour you put on, depending on which colours, butterfly is going to change every time. Also, there's a difference between if you do a little bit of a heat set like I've just done with a heat gun, and if you don't. So I've got one done previously where I didn't do that, and this mm -hmm. one is where I have done it. So you see, actually, scribbling over the top of that with some water, I've got a nice watercolour butterfly, and I haven't really done anything to it at all. Now, this one is one where I wow. went straight in with the water. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do the heat set, so I've lost some of the definition in the lines there. You can use it like that if you want to, or you can stamp over the top. So to stamp over the top, I'm just going to get another piece of card. We'll use this piece. Um, I would use a bit of stick and spray. Just to keep it still. Yeah. Actually, I'll turn that round. There we go, just to keep that still, like that. And then on my butterfly, I'm just going to clean it. So I can see on the outside here, I've used a lot of gold. Um, and then there's some more of the sunset in there than there is the hot pink. So I'm going to use gold and sunset. And I'm going to ink up my stamp again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going with the gold. Um, just to qualify, Liz asked, as I thought Leanne was licking the stamp, laughing no. pieces. No licking. No, just, just harring, just huffing. Huffing and harring. <laughs> um, should I have enjoyed your Hulk Hogan style of a huff as well? Oh, dear. I've not laughed like that <laughs> in ages. <laughs> very, very funny. But great techniques and great tips. That's what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm pleased to I'm pleased to bring the humour. You always do. The hints and the humour. Humour. <laughs> he said humus then. No humus, just the humour. Any more questions you want to fire in, by the way? Um, had not had a few for a little while, so hopefully you're all uh, you're all good. But if there's anything that you want to ask in the last half hour, can you believe it? Uh, then get those questions in now, and we'll do like a final wrap up of questions uh, with Leanne just before the end of the show. Don't forget as well, still to come tonight, we've got launch at six, one o'clock Eastern, ten a.m. Pacific. The brand new, uh, brand new, um, amazing. Um, 3D embossing folders with those dies as well, which were very, very popular this morning. So I'm just using my wet towel here and I'm taking any ink off the antenna because it would do a double image. Yeah. You, know, you want to be able to line up the rest of the butterfly but not the antenna. Okay. So just leave them clean of any ink and then that won't stamp an impression down for you. When you've done that, over the top of this, and I'm just going to roughly line that up with my rocker block. Stamp over the top, and that puts all of the detail ah. back in for you. Wow. Um, so you can have that lovely watercoloured effect, and then you get that l wa um, more detail from that yes, second stamping when you go over the top with it, and it really does make a pop. If you want to soften that, you can go in with your brush, and you can do some softening. It just makes the colour a little bit more intense, entirely up to you. Um, where I've got the white line, where I've gone round and cut it with some scissors, sometimes it's nice just to go and soften that with a little bit of the colour. But there you go. So you've got your extra butterfly. And here's the background that's drying that we made, which would have our butterfly on. So good. And when we look at the finished card here, you can see we've got the stamped background with the spritzed water. You've got your butterfly on there. And if you want to, and I think we might, you could put a second one on and have that really flying from the page and that entire thing you've created yourself with a couple of stamps and five aqua markers incredible uh, i think potentially my favorite uh, demo of the year uh, so far that last one absolutely brilliant uh, if you want to get those aqua pens they are uh, double discounted today plus your uh, club inspire discount so 20 percent 15 percent Less your club inspire platinum members are at fifty pounds two p or seventy one dollars seventy eight. Uh, if it's more alcohol color markers that you're into, we've got the uh, tri blend collections for you. Uh, this is the essentials collection, so twenty four piece collection, one pen, three uh, three blends within each if you like. So it's actually seventy two colors that you're getting across the twenty four pens. If you want to learn your uh, blending techniques perfectly, the tri blends are a great way to get started. Uh, 24 of your three in one pens there across the essentials. That price today again is brilliant. Um, not a love to craft deal, but you're still getting a big saving, uh, less your club inspire. So 51.19 and 76.77 if you're in the US. And then you can um, add to that collection your deep blends as well. So you've got all 48 of those. And that's the same deal on the deep blends as well. So normally 80 pounds, $120. Uh, you're 51.19 today or 76.77. Also uh, today, the glitter and sparkle markers, we've actually paired these up. So you've got a selection of your, um, your glitter markers and a selection of your sparkle pens in there as well. So um, from the, uh, the glitter pens, you've got our vibrant florals. Uh, so loads of beautiful colours in there. Uh, your golden glows, and electric pink, ultraviolet, fiery red, supernova, and your yellow cosmos. And then you've got the neons in the uh, the glitter too. And then we give you those gorgeous um, sparkle pens as well. The uh, beautiful glitter brush pens, I should say. Um, of course, water soluble in six different colours. So three packs. You've got sorry, two packs, three in each. You've got the antique, which is your fig, your peacock blue, and your macaroon. And then you've also got your essential brights, which is your uh, aquamarine pink garnet and your firefly. Great way to kind of try um, just a few of our um, sparkle pens and glitter uh, uh, glitter brush pens as well. 15% you're saving, less than another 15, and that, that platinum price is $28.87 or $42.74. Uh, and also the art line is an incredible deal today as well. A 10% saving here um, on these. Particularly great if you like to do your doodling, if you like to do your um, calligraphy. Also great for cre creating your own little uh, frames and borders 
with these doing like faux stitching effects and particularly brilliant a lot of these art liners if you're into your um your zentangle i know a lot of people pick these up for that as well uh, you're going to get all five of those fine liners and one brush pen included in there too uh, different size nibs really fine nibs you've got on those art liners you can see um, on the front of the packaging there normally 12.99 17.99 uh, platinum price today is nine pounds 19 or 12 dollars 79. Now we've also got great deals on our discovery kits for you as well. Uh, the uh, no, that's sorry, standard standard ones, I should say, the standard discovery kit. Uh, so your illustration, um, again, all great deals. Eight pound fifteen, ten eighty four. Uh, you've got a selection of your illustrators in there. Actually, five illustrators plus an art liner. And once again, um, everything that you need really, all of your marker paper included in there, your how-to booklet, and you've got the chips and inspiration from uh, Tatiana Kovaldina included in that set. These are brilliant, you know, to get you started, to sort of try you out on the illustrators, to buy as a gift idea. Uh, if it's a little uh, toe you want to dip in the water when it comes to watercolour, we've got that set too. Uh, this one includes five of your aqua markers. You've got the Kingfisher, Sunshine, Scarlet, Prussian Blue and Alpine Green. Um, once again, you get your watercolour paper in there, so everything's kind of done for you. E everything relevant that you would need is included. Uh, you've got an art liner in there as well, the 0.3 black art liner. And again, tips and inspiration um, from Benita Moby, £8.15 or £10.84. Uh, and then we've got the manga and comic. Um, uh, what I would say is this, if you just want to get this individually, £8.15 is your platinum price on that or £10.84. Just bear in mind that that is also in the grab bag today as well. Uh, the value for money on that is incredible but you know it's entirely how you want to kind of uh, spend today if you want to get that individually you can uh, and again this one includes three of your illustrators uh, you've got an art liner in there plus two classics and again all of your papers that you'll need and tips and inspiration in that one from Nicola Yao. As I've mentioned, that manga and comic one is in the Spectrum Noir grab bag today, which is £20 or $28, but there's loads more other bits and pieces in there for you as well. Uh, thank you for all the advice today, says Philip Watson. Um, Leanne, a bit marvellous as always. Um, where has the time gone, says Cathy Myers. I know, she says, I could listen and watch Leanne all day. Me too. Thank you for all of your hints and tips. Crafty Angie says, Leanne, uh, in my Academy of Colour Cute Characters, I stamped the mouse with the wrong ink and lost the lines when I coloured. This is a good way to get the details of the mouse back. Thanks for this idea, what you just showed. You're welcome. Uh, Mary Reno, it's your birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Uh, let's let us know what you're doing today, Mary, to celebrate. Uh, Laurie Barnett says, art liners are a must have, especially today on that deal. Um, and Coletta says, I had such fun with Tatiana's and Benita's kits uh and sil says ben please can you sing hong kong lian number one super gal you know the one hong, hong kong lian <laughs> number one super gal <laughs> hong kong lian she's your huffing pal <laughs> i can't remember the next bit it was what is faster than the human eye faster than human eye yeah i can't remember the words hong i love hong fui. kong fui. and then there was the he, he used to get changed Hello, in the, what did you call the uh What's the pinup? Hello. She did on the telly. She did the glasses, didn't she? Yeah, the glasses on. Yeah. Oh. What was he called before he was Hong Kong? Penry. 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 And he used to get changed in the filing cabinet, yeah. didn't he? And come out as Hong Kong Fui. Hong Kong Fui. Fabulous. That was such a great cartoon, wasn't it? That was. It really that was. was good. Hong Kong Fui. Back there you in go. The day. Sylv, you're welcome. Oh dear. This has been such a fun show. I feel like I've learnt a lot and I've laughed a lot in this show. <laughs> learnt and laughed. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Illustrators, right, we saw these a little bit earlier on. We uh, did. But these are, uh, well, basically you're getting your four packs here. So it's 32 pens in total, dual tip pens, um, but you're getting uh, all of these different colours here. So I'll show you all of the different colours that you're going to be getting. Um, so your delicates. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, lots of your primaries and your basics. You're getting the stylish. You've got the essentials, which includes that amazing blender pen. You've got the botanicals, uh, the natural. Oh, pardon me. You've got the aquatic and your four set of verdant. So again, this normally is £100, $120. You are 20% off, 15% off, 20% off if you're platinum. So that's 54.34 or 65.06. So we're back to alcohol markers here. 
Uh, we're back to talking about these illustrators, dual tip pens that have got uh, one end, that beautiful, super fine tip, and then the other end, you've got that amazing um, Japanese brush nib. Absolutely perfect, as you saw a little bit earlier on, for practicing um, that flicking technique, which allows you to color like a pro when it comes to things like uh, hair, particularly. Uh, and fur, and like we saw earlier on, go back to Wake Up Call and see Leanne's demo with these when it came to the, um, the skin tone as well. Um, you've got a lovely selection here across the range of illustrators at a fantastic price. Um, let's have a look at these. I think we've got about um, 10 minutes or so, Leanne. Um, okay. What can you show us with the illustrators? Okay, so we're going to have a look. I mean, we'll not get, we'll not get it finished, but no. I'm going to show you the techniques you need to be able to colour um, with beautiful flicks with the illustrator yes. to be able to achieve something like this at home. Okay, so we're going to start with the flesh because that's one of the questions I'm always, always asked. Uh, so we start with our lightest colour. And by the way, I've stamped this image with our finesse alcohol proof dye ink onto Nina cardstock. Yep. Um, and we're going to start with this beautiful brush nib. Now, actually, let's just do brush nib 101 before I start colouring. Oh, yes, please. Mm. Because I think it's good for you to see why a brush nib, isn't it? Mm. Um, with a brush nib, you get beautiful flicks. And you can vary the length and size. Yeah. You can go from small, and depending on how you angle your brush and where you hold your pen, to very large. So you get a lovely, soft lay down of colour for texture. That's why a brush nib. And it doesn't just have to be for anything that is textured. It can be um, just to lay down lovely soft colour, which is what we're going to do now with our markers. And so I believe I'm starting with this one. I've just messed them all up for all I've got them in the right. That's it. So start with the lightest first. Yeah. And that Japanese brush nib will allow you to get down a lovely initial layer of colour. And what I'm doing is preserving my highlight. So preserving my highlight simply means the areas of the face that are the furthest forward remain white until the very last moment. Uh -huh. And that just means that your card is not saturated with colour and that would be the lightest area. So we've done that first layer. Then we take our next colour and this is FS6. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding that in just into the areas that would be darker. So where it would be naturally shaded, which would be under her hairline, under her fringe, on her forehead, under her chin, under her nose. There'd be a shadow under her nose uh -huh. as well, maybe under the lip there. The rest of the areas would all be lighter. So I've just built up the colour there in those areas. And then we go back to the initial colour and we blend that out into our preserved highlight. That means go to the edge and come out to the white area. And what that does is give you a lovely, natural, blended yeah. appearance of the face where it's darker at the hairline, lighter at the front. We can then take our marker to put in her cheek. And for her cheek with this one, see I use a triangle from the hairline to the center of the face. And then you just take the marker that you've just used and you blend that in. Which gives you the lovely soft appearance of chiseling on her face, a lovely little shine. And if you want to um, add a little bit more depth of colour around her hairline, you can use the colour that you've just used for, for the blush into some of those areas. And that'll just give a little bit more shade. And I like to use the colour that I've used for blush because it means it'll be part of her natural skin tone. Mm -hmm. So it will uh, stand out. And then I use the darker colour just to blend that out a little bit. And we get that lovely soft appearance on her face. Now then for her eyebrow, this is where the tiny chisel nib comes in really uh, handy. Yes. Because with her eyebrow, I can now go in with that tiny little bullet and give her a chiselled eyebrow, which is beautifully precise. And then for her lips, again, with the, with the tiny little bullets, I can go in with a couple of colours. And that was MG4 and this is MG2. Uh -huh. 
and just a little bit lighter at the tip and that gives that shine on her lip as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. So you can see how that starts to come together. To do her eye, I'd need to go and gri grab a green pen, but you would just pop a little bit of green. We're just going to grab a green pen, Ben. Yeah, One why not? Second. We've got time. We've Grabbing got time. a green pen. We're going to have a pear green eye, which is CG3. And again, with that tiny little uh, bullet nib, add in a little bit of green, and her face then comes to life. Now then, to do the hair, you're going to take um, a range of pens in the same colour family. Um, and you can actually, it doesn't have to be the same colour family, just a range of pe pens in the golden browny looking yeah. feel. So I'm starting with the lightest colour here. And what okay. I always advocate is that you pick a small area and flick in the colour uh -huh. towards the centre. And by a small area, I mean one strand of hair. Yep. And then we'll work around her whole head in this fashion. And the brush tip on the illustrator is what allows us to build this beautiful layering of colour and movement in her hair. So you then take the next colour up and you go over the top with your flicks and you extend that flick out ever so slightly. So a little bit further than the first set of flicks. And then the same on this side, just a gentle touch uh, I'm not pushing my nip, so that's another good point actually for you. When I'm doing that, I'm just whispering across the top of the paper. Yeah. I'm not pushing my pen down. Look at the difference. So almost just kissing the top of the paper with the ink rather than pushing touch, it down. It? And I think that's um, one of the things that a number of you, when we talk, we find out that that's what you've been doing. That's frustrating it for you. You're pushing the nib yeah. onto the card too firmly when you just really need to be almost kissing across the top, Ben. I can't think of another way to describe yeah. it. It's just be a barely Very a touch. Light. Yes. yes. Um, and then we go with the next darkest colour. And so we intensify at the root and come up a little bit further there, or at the tip. Always leave the centre of the hair strand um, with the lightest area, because that's how you're going to get that so it looks like it's folded over and moving. So flick out and then back to the colours you first started with. Just extend those flicks out a little bit into your preserved highlight. And with this one. It looks so good. You do make it look very, very easy. And that's it. And that means mm. you've got that beautiful shine on that strand. Looks great. And so what we've done for what I would do for each one of those strands is pick each part of her head as another strand. So let's say I want to do this one underneath here now. Yeah. So I would do exactly the same again. Um, you do not need to vary the technique. And once you've got this technique, you just work around her whole head in that way. So I'm now picking this small area. Yeah. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. Gentle flicks into the center, prever preserving my highlight. Uh -huh. And you notice I return it around all the time. Yeah. The reason I do that is, it's so much easier to flick away from yourself. Yes. And what happens is you naturally get a fatter beginning and a thinner end because you're picking your pen up off the yes. paper. Trying to do it down this way towards yourself, you get straight lines. Yeah, yeah. And what you need is that kind of fat to thin flick for that yeah. texture. Um, so that's why I always turn my card around. It just makes life so much easier. And I think you said earlier on, but if you obviously you do like this, a smaller section there, but that bigger section, oh George, just where, where I am, mm -hmm. <laughs> that bigger section there, you, you would take like each individual section of the bigger section, would you? Correct. Or to a so this section here. Y yes. Yes. So if I show you on this image with that section, so that might feel a little bit overwhelming. Where do I leave my preserved highlight? Where do I start with my flicks? That's a pretty big chunk. Yeah, yeah. Just break it down into two separate pieces. So if I show you that, what I would do is make a map. And by making a map, I simply take my lightest colour that I'm going to be colouring with, and I say, this is a section. Right. And then I colour that in, this bit here. I'll show you. So then I'll colour this in, doing the light flicks, and this way, Doing the light flicks. Yeah. And then with the other colours. Barely touching the card, just very light little flicks. 
And what that does is keep the feathered edges to the flicks, which is what gives you the appearance of movement and texture in the hair strands. Don't worry about the fact you haven't gone right to the line here. You can go and fix that later and I'll uh -huh. show you how. All you're worried about at the minute is um, getting your flicks going in the right direction. So we do that and then we can go with our much darker one, the root. Samantha's got a question. Yeah. Why do you put the lighter colour on, then cover it up, she says. Because wet card blends so much easier than dry ink. Yeah. Um, and what you're doing is, is so you think, it, it might look like you're covering it up watching it home, but when you see it in real life, mm. there's variation between the flicks. So you will see the light colour glinting through yeah. between two darker flicks. So you're building up that real genuine um, we, reflection of hair. Yeah, you can see it on the first the one that movements. you've coloured. Yes. Very well. Where you can see the lighter ones yeah. coming through under the darker ones. Mm. Um, so I would always do that because that's how you get that movement and texture. And then do the same again in this direction. So you see just tiny, 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 tiny little flicks. Mm -hmm. And then go back to your original colours. Yep, that's that one. And notice I don't go right back to the top when I'm flicking. Um, I actually start further towards the preserved highlight because yeah. you don't want to bleach out all of the colour. And then, there we go. Perfect. So that's that one. Mm -hmm. And then we would start again on this piece. So I've tread that one block of hair Into two. as two separate pieces. Yeah. And by doing that, that's how you break it down and manage to deal with you know one area at a time and it also gives you the maximum impact in terms of the coloured hair ben. Um, another quick question yeah they're all coming at the end andy says how do you determine which direction to start when the hair is pulled up here i guess so yeah so i follow the direction of the hair strand right okay so i'm always flicking from the outside to the centre. Yeah. So because this bit goes like this, I'm flicking from the outside to the centre and that's where the preserved highlight would be. So you're always just coming from either end and joining in the middle regardless of the direction. Mm. Great questions at the end there as well. Just whilst we're watching Leanne, some lovely comments coming through. Crafty Angie, I love it when Leanne is on. Uh, she goes right into teacher mode. I love it, I love it, I, I love know. it. I you can, well, they say they can take the teacher out the classroom, but you can't take the classroom out the teacher. That's it. Um, Joy saying, we are so lucky to have you, Leanne. I can watch you colour all day. Indeed, many nights I do, as you keep me company whilst playing with my Spectrum Noir pens. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. Now, there we go. So you can see we've got that preserved highlight. You can see the light starting Beauty. to build away from her face. And you will just keep doing that. I'm just going to mention very quickly, Ben, mm. that um, you see here I've coloured her dress in a hot pink. Yep. And surprisingly, I've got the exact same colour of ribbon. Amazing colour your ribbon in yes. with your markers and yes. I prefer to use a classique for this but you can use your illustrator as well so you can dye your in, uh, your ribbon and you can colour your gems oh, of course yes with your illustrator so you can match in the perfect colours for your creation amazing um, Shall we do a quick vote? Because I've just okay. realised we've got about five minutes on the oh, show is that left. All? I wow. know it's flown Sorry, over. Sorry, I was having such a lovely time. No, we've had a great time. It's all right, we can do a quick vote. Uh, all we need is a couple of minutes. So uh, we'll get Leanne to line her cards up. If you want to go for the Illustrator collection, those 32 dual tip pens uh, you're getting in the set, 20%, less 15%, less your club inspired discount with your platinum price at the bottom of the screen there in the purple box. Let us have a look at the four cards then. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. Uh, remind us what you've uh, what you've created, So Leanne. This is um, Aquamarker number one, which was wet into wet techniques. And then number two was Harmony Water Reactive blended background with quick dry stamping and sparkle water colouring with yep. quick dry. And then we had the Ha! <laughs> we, had, we had the butterfly haring with the aqua markers where we've created the background and the stamp and then we did illustrator colouring so one two three 
or four. Mm -hmm. uh, get your votes in. You've got about two minutes to do so. Uh, last chance to get your grab bag. This is flying out today. Such a, such a busy show. You guys have loved this masterclass. You've snapped up all the deals. Value for money here is insane, yo. Um, as I've mentioned, you've got one of the discovery kits in there. That's the mango and comic kit that we showed you that you can buy individually for 815 if you're platinum. However, for an extra what, uh, 11, 11 and a bit quid, isn't it? Um, you, you're gonna get a set of the uh, dual ended metallic pens. You're gonna get this uh, beautiful set of your essential acrylic paint markers. You're gonna get a bottle of our glossy highlight. And then you're also going to get uh, um, one of our illustrators as well, the uh, Aqua Blue. So it's entirely up to you, I suppose. It depends where the budget lies. However, if you do want to kind of get a little bit of a taster for a lot of the different ranges that we've got as far as the Spectrum Noir goodies are concerned, this is a must buy. And again, if you're looking at that and thinking, well, I've got, I've got a few of those bits pieces for the price that you're paying today it's worth giving those bits and pieces that you've already got away and keeping the bits that you need or alternatively let's be honest with you know all of these eventually you will need more eventually the pens will run out so I mean it, you can't really say no to this kind of even if you've got everything in the bag grab it again because then you've got replacements for when your pens disappear I think that's the reason why this I mean the, the value for money is the main reason but I think another reason is the fact that people are going you know what um, the, my pens will run out eventually may as well grab more on an incredible deal 20 pounds or 28 dollars if you are a platinum member today oh demo of the show demo of the show <laughs> oh. <laughs> it made me love it it tickles me so much <laughs> Demo of the show. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it's just because of, I love a party with a happy atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's just because of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's so tickled me, I can't tell you. Oh my gosh. What a show. So much fun. Uh, so many great tips and techniques and ideas. Thank you, Leanne. Uh, it's been so brilliant. Uh, we're going to do it all over again in two hours' time. However, however, <laughs> we're going to do uh, our official launch of our brand new product. You saw a sneaky peek of this this morning uh, on Wake Up Call. However, uh, it is our 3D embossing folder and nesting die collection. We've got a showstopper deal as well which has been flying um, you'll be able to see that in full uh, for a two hour uh, launch day at six o'clock until then do make sure that you uh, check out all of your carts, check out all of your baskets. If you know you want that launch, by the way, grab it now uh, and then come back and enjoy all of the hints, tips and demos and, of course, fun uh, that will be launch day at 6 o'clock, 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for shopping. We'll see you back here in two hours. Bye. <laughs>